everybody. We are just waking up. Everybody's waking up. Yeah, Evelyn right here. She just woke up. Right there. Can you say hello? You got Dora? Huh? Nash and Lachlan are over here picking up. What? What do you want to talk about? Look at that hair. Yikes. What did I do? Yeah. We're just picking up in the morning. Nash and Lachlan have to pick up their Lego table. The way our house is set up is that we don't have, because we live in a garage, obviously, by the title of our uh, video or our channel, um, we don't have an extra area for our kids to put all their toys, so that's why they have their Lego table over there. Hudson's over here cooking his breakfast. He has to cook some eggs. I think I added too much um, canola, canola oil spray. Oh, the spray? Yeah. Did you add too much water maybe? Probably. Probably too much water. Yeah. It's okay. Still going to taste the same. Yeah. Did you put your salt and pepper on it? I put it on after. Okay. So he's going to do that. We just got most of our table cleaned up. This is our biggest tackle, is our laundry. All of our laundry baskets are, um, everything is clean, but we have a very tiny like laundry room area. So everybody has their own basket and then we have to fold them. So that's like our job coming up soon is to be able to do that. And I have my ironing board out because as you can tell, I have a project going on. Um, we have a craft fair hopefully in spring that I'm going to be doing with my daughter and my nieces and another friend of ours. So that's what that's going to be. It's going to be a baby blanket. I'll show you guys another time too, but. Are you almost finished? Hmm? Yes. Upstairs. Oh, I don't know if he's sleeping or what. Miles has his waffles. Where's your eggs? Over there, still pulling off. Okay. You like? Why don't you get socks on before you go out? You could try. My husband just started drinking coffee, so there's always like a little bit left over. In the bottom, so Hudson wants to steal it every day. Yeah. You don't have to keep that there, Gage, because I just put it there for for now. So I got to get the other kids going with breakfast. You guys want to come to the table? You're not having coffee. You're not getting coffee. No. No coffee. <laughs> I want to. Yeah. Are you ready to eat? I'm going to waffle it, Tilla. Waffle? And soap. Tilla and soap. Hi. I want to show you guys how outside looks right now. The snow is coming down like really, really soft. So hold on for night. So, oh, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's just coming down like really, really soft. Did, were you able to do the water? I'm not even out there yet. Oh. When are you going to get my elephant? I have it in the thing. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. I'm falling. Okay. 
You need to sit up. Okay. So this is our usual morning breakfast. I always have waffles. Some of the other kids always have waffles. So some of them today ended up having cereal. What do you, Declan, are you going to put your shirt on the right way? Yeah, that's on backwards. My kids always put their clothes on backwards. I don't. I not forgot true. that the fox. The one in the green over there? I forgot that fox. Zoom in on you. <laughs> You good? Mine is a kitty cat. All right. You gonna want a waffle? Yeah. All right. okay. Yeah, I'm shaking a lot. I can't. Like, I'll put. I'll put Miles Cam. Okay, so let me see where you're at here. Come on in. This is a little mom hack. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but so you don't get your hands dirty, I fold the waffle on top of itself, and then I cut it so that it's kind of like a little sandwich, and then my fingers don't get all full of the Nutella. So I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it works. Lauren's going to try a egg thing. And once I made a Lego elevator, but now I broke it. You broke it? <laughs> some. This is the truth. I actually gave some pieces to my It's a egg ring. He's going to try to make a, like a McMuffin thing for breakfast. It's an egg thing. Egg McMuffin, I said. No, it's the egg with muffin. I think an air egg is different. Isn't it? Is an air egg made with water or in water? Um, no, you literally just use a shirt and shake or something. Oh. You separate the yolk from the white. Yeah. And then yeah, that's not that's not what that is then. Cook the white and then pour the yolk in and then cook that. Yeah, this is just, you just dump, break the egg and cook it like that. Oh. Yeah. Hi. That's good. When you said the syrup, I was, I was always pouring a little bit of caramel in. Mm -hmm. So then I did the syrup, half and half and a little bit of sugar. And it actually tastes really good. Hudson's probably going to end up at Starbucks. Yeah. That'll be his first job. Owning a chain. Yeah. <laughs> so if anybody notices these little... Yeah, right. St uh, I was going to say Starbucks here on the table. Uh, sticker things, I do have to clean these off because they're starting to wear off. But with us homeschooling, I put these little cheat things on the table so the kids know their numbers and ABCs. I do have that in some of my homeschool videos. So I do have to clean that up. I need to like, what's it called? Yeah, I know. What's it called though? Oh, laminate something and put it on there. Yeah, I did it last. They did a hack for school. Yeah. It was a soda bottle, and then they would take off the side wrapping, write the answers and stuff, 
and put it back on so then they could cheat. Nice. That's not good. Your egg went out of your thing. I can't videotape and open the waffle thing. I'm gonna put it on there. He thinks he's pretty. Oh, come on, what the heck? You got the things in there. I can't put my waffles in. Here, Hudson, can you put these away from me? Thanks. Hudson, why don't you get ready and go do chickens? Don't forget you had to bring all this out here. If Miles is done eating, then grab him too. Hey, also, also uh, Hudson? So a little while later, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the stuff that me and the kids are trying to um, work on for this school year. And I'll just sit down with you guys a little bit later. But right now, I just want to get the house cleaned up and everything straightened up first. And then I'll be able to sit with you and then the kids are going to start school. So we'll pretty much videotape like the whole day and some of the things that we've been doing. And that's kind of where I want to like start doing with you guys is doing more of that stuff and i've been doing a lot more like um just like reviews reviews on products and other things and i kind of just want to connect with you guys a little bit more personally so that's what we're going to be doing today so you'll go along with us today and um i'll try to videotape pretty much the whole day some of the things that we go through and a lot of our mealtime stuff. Tonight I work, but I can show you what I'll be cooking for supper. It won't be in the air fryer today, so it'll probably be in the Instapot because I'll be making a roast. Um, so I'll show you what I do for that. But other than that, I'm gonna go eat breakfast and then we'll hop back on in a little while. Now you guys can see that it's getting a little bit more um, you can see the snow a little bit when we're out there. Uh oh. What's going one on? One right there. Oh, there. Wait, we can play games? No, we're not playing games. We have to do school. And chores. Oh my God, I mean, the living room's almost that's done. Insane. Are you getting your shoes on? Huh? Are we okay? No. Are you getting your shoes on? We gotta get you some pants on. A little pink nerf. And you're playing nerf? Yeah, I kinda. I have over from go to. Can you get it on? Oh, you need it buckled? Let's see if I can do this. That one too? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna help Evelyn here. Let's see if I can get this on here. Are you taking something from her? Oh, let's see. I almost got it. Almost got it. There we go. There. Okay. Are you good? Pretty shoes. No. Cannot go upstairs. No. We're going to be sitting down in a little bit when I'm done eating. And we're going to do your workbooks. Are you brushing your hair? Pretty? Yeah. You want to go put that in the bedroom? Go put it in the bedroom. You getting your stuff out, Declan? Yeah. Okay, go put that in there. Where did Hud hey you guys gotta move that? Where did Hudson go? I don't know. Hudson. Oh. Uh no, go put it in your bedroom. What? You gotta go put it in your bedroom. How do you use it? 
Yeah, but we're going to be doing spooling a little bit. So. Hey, Eli, when you're done, make sure you sweep. Okay, did you burn? Okay, go burn. Oh, yeah, when you're done. Huh? Put your address on. Put our address. Just the regular address. Here's what Declan's working on today, his numbers. So just a regular dry erase for right now. Do you like doing school? No. No? no. Why? Do you know what number you're writing? No. Yeah, look up here. Huh? What number? I'm writing five. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm a total goofball. That was perfect. Wait, hold on, do that base again. Give it to me. You missed. Do that again. <laughs> I stepped extremely slow. <laughs> you can't keep your composure. Okay, now that I'm in charge of videotaping, we can get back to folding towels. Huh? I said, I said nothing. I said the little man way was better. <laughs> Let's do little man style of folding towels. Slide four one. You got me my towel. <laughs> Willie. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Why are you so goofy? Mm. Do you like that? Mm. Do you like the chicken? <laughs> chicken. Um. Uh -oh. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, do it again. Push button. <laughs> Do you like that song? No, you don't. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the things that me and the kids talked about this last week. 
Um, if you hear any noise in the background, we have uh, our neighbor guy is over here plowing our, our driveway right now. So, okay. And Evelyn is playing with an obnoxious chicken ornament. Okay. Come on, let's get done. The chicken song is out Yeah, they're still working on um, we ready to kill here. We can so, do awesome. um, what was that? Something. Oh, no. What was it? Oh, no. He's playing on snow. He was in the room, No, he was in the woods. I know, I don't know if we can have that or not. <laughs> okay, so, okay. So here are coming some of the things that I wanna to talk to you guys about that me and the kids talked about. Some of the goals that the kids want to, or I asked if the kids wanted to achieve anything in the month of December. We've never really did goals before, but I want them to kind of be accountable for some of their schoolwork. Um, and see where they're going with some of their school work school work and um, we don't do a lot of grading and stuff with school it's yeah. more or less did you do it right are thing, there are things that we can kind of change and improve so with our goals it's gonna be where we can they can um, maybe we'll go get something at the end of the month like a treat or something like that that uh, just so that they can feel like they achieved something with their school and that they worked hard at getting it done. Um, so I kind of, you, you see him, is he plowing? <laughs> okay, so some of the goals that we talked about with the little ones, um, for Declan, Ash, and Lachlan, those, they're still working on um, like words and their name, ABCs, numbers, and reading. So we're just going to be doing a lot of that with them. Um, Nash and Lachlan can pretty much write their name. Um, we're still working on like the middle name and then we got to work on our last name. And they're doing pretty good with that. I still want to get to the point where they can write their name without me having to write it down on a piece of paper. Um, can you guys finish this up please? Yep. Um, and then... They're all distracted now because our neighbors here plowing. So, okay, so that's for the three littlest one, and then we have Eli. Yeah, do you see? Yeah. That's we. But this is my first neighbor, yeah. and that's my that's my other one mm -hmm. over there. Okay, so with Eli, we have writing, and then our address. So they know our address, they know how to um, tell me their address and stuff like that, but I want it to be more like they can write it down and um, use it for things that they need to use it for, writing down on a piece of paper, mailing out things, I guess. I think everybody understands what that means. Um, so that's some of the goals at the end of the month. And what I mean by writing is being, sorry, Evelyn's gonna be noisy here. No, no, don't touch. So, with writing for Eli, what I mean is they're working out of this one book. Do you want to get me your book, Eli, if you can? They're working. The kid. Oh, kisses. <laughs> kisses. They're um. Him and Paige. Oh, did you poke your eye? Oh, is it too sunny? Too sunny. Okay, he's gonna get that, but I, what I'll talk to you guys about is, okay, so they're working on the spectrum writing, and they have to do a lot of like stories and paragraphs in here, but they also have where they can read, Evelyn, you're kinda in my way here. They also have where they have to read some stuff and then answer the questions, but some of the goals that we want is to be able to write a paragraph and understand the sentence structure of a paragraph and then some of um, why they need to do it that way. To the end of January, we wanna work on that for Eli. 
Gage, do you have the same one? You have the same writing book, I think, right? Okay. Okay, so that's him. And then for Hudson, we have writing also, math, and focus. So writing would be the same thing. They have the same, not this, they have the same book, but different grade, because he's in a different grade than them. And then for our math, this is Mama's. Okay, so what Hudson was saying with the math is that he needs help with multiplication and understanding that. So we'll be working more on that. And then as for focus, Hudson is okay doing his homework. He just gets distracted really easily and wants to kind of more or less stare off into space and not concentrate Mom, do so, not, do not, or kind of start playing with a toy or something. And we try no, not to have way. any toys by us when we're doing our school, but kind of just happens. So that's Hudson. And then Miles, we have his name, address, read, and writing. So he's still working on um, practicing writing his name. Address, we still need to go over. Um, and then it's reading, he's still work. learning. No, we're not gonna open that. No. Um, he still needs help with reading and then writing isn't the same as for the other boys. His is just being able to write sentences. So when I'm not worried about like sentence structure yet, it's just being able to actually write sentences. And then Gage is writing um, the same thing that I said with Eli. So we're just gonna do that. And then yeah. address, which we kind of went over a little bit today, right? Um, spelling is things that we're gonna be working on. We might need to change his curriculum with spelling. I got a book that I thought would be a little bit better to understand and it ends up not being as good as I thought it was going to be, so we might have to change that. Ray Cage, do you think we should, that we need to change that? What? Your spelling book. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, the spelling, which one? Well, the words, yeah. Well, the, yeah, so we would just, do something all different. I'll just order something different. Okay, most of the books that we order are Rod and Staff, so I'm gonna have to go back to that because this year I tried something different and it's not working as good as that. What? Milk, okay, in a little bit. So that we're gonna change um, and Miles, I'm gonna go back to Miles. I do have to order him a cursive book because he's done with his book. A lot of times when we do homeschool, we get done with our books and then we um from like last year or whatever and we tie them into the next year he's already done with his cursive book so i need to your mouth is on the table go drink it so that we need to change and then okay. then i need to um order for miles but gauge math we're almost done with his math book almost done like so many more pages and we want to move on to the next book because it's going to be different and we also have like a cd that goes along with his book that he'll be able to work on with that so that's going to be some of the things so his goal with math is to try to do extra to get done with his book faster um before january and then that's pretty much it so the are things that are our goals we are, our chores and stuff like that that we do in the morning, kind of what you guys saw. I didn't show you guys everything that we kind of did with chores wise. Um, on some of our other, other videos, if you want to check out like each kid's um, kind of morning routine, I kind of have a little bit of some of their chores that they did. You guys can go check out some of the other homeschool videos that has like each kid's name that we did. So look at that and that's kind of shows um, but if you guys ever want videos on just like our chores in general, we can go over something like that. I don't have where I have like this amazing, perfect schedule for chores and our schooling. It's just more or less routine, the same thing that we do every day. We do the same thing every single day. Nothing really changes. It's just, we don't have it at certain times. So we don't go like nine o'clock is Bible study, 10 o'clock is this, or 10 o'clock is, you know, sit down time. I don't really do that. I'm actually homeschooling everybody at the same time. And I just try to stay available so that if they need me, I 
This year I'm more with the little kids this year, so um, the big kids, if they need me, they just have to come to me. That needs to be a little bit more structured, I think, because we end up having three kids ask me questions at the same time. So we just have to still figure out a lot of that stuff. Um, if you guys are new here, I've been homeschooling for 14 years now. I have two older kids that are out of the house that we homeschooled through high school. Um, and that's our goal with these guys. Right now we are homeschooling seven of the boys this year. And Evelyn's the only one that in the house so far. So there's eight in the house. Evelyn's the only one, obviously, that's not being homeschooled. Um, so that's what we do on a regular basis. We just started back up. A week ago because of the whole Christmas break and stuff so we are back at it trying to get things um, fixed I think a lot of homeschoolers homeschool moms once they start up again they see um, they need curriculum changes they need different uh, daily like changes and different ideas um, okay hold on one second I might have to I'll come back hold on one second Okay, so Nash and Lachlan are gonna work on their Pages. letter books. Yeah, hey Nash, you kinda gotta put your book down. What do you want to work on? I don't yep, know. That's a G. Oh, that's a pencil. I'm white. Do you know where my heels are? Yep. Crayons, or when I got they're up there in one of them containers? Not when I'm not here. I think. You, this is my pencil. I'm yeah, right full of you might have to get a chair. I'm healed. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah, you have to do it. No, I know I put them up there somewhere. Or in there somewhere. You must do two or not. You're just going to color right now? Yep. Okay, but then we have to write our letters. So you're going to work on J today, Lachlan? Yes. And I'm going to color. Yeah, Is that what I mean next time? I mean my horse. No, I mean my horse. Mm-hmm. And my pack. Or this tail go. I Look in the drawer, wait, wait. Hudson. Yes, I know what this is. Evelyn's going to color in her book because yeah. she wants to look, feel like everybody else or do what everybody else is doing. Declan's working on something new. Right? Yeah. No, that's it. It is, but you should go over, down, and around. Okay? Over, down, and around. I forgot. That's my name, Is it this one? Yep. Start up on top. Come by me. Backwards. You're doing everything backwards. I thought you said, is it this way to store or this way to Okay. That's not what I thought you meant. There's a six right. All right. Let me see. I know it's funny, but we have to actually do some letters. Okay. Let's do H. So you're going to do a line down. See how the arrows tell you to do a line down, a line down, and then you have to go over. Okay. So we'll do that. And I need my boxes. Yep, this Mama's got to work on ordering one. some stuff for the kids. Oh, you did a good job. That's a 20, so a 2 and an O. Uh oh. Yep. messaging my daughter right now because she's asking me questions about homeschool too she is starting out she's got um two girls that she's teaching the early elementary stuff so kind of the same as what i'm doing with the twins what i discussed with you guys today about some of the goals that i want to achieve with them and that's kind of what she's questioning me about right now but i'm going to go online and i'm going to order some of the stuff that um, that Gage needs. Yeah, um, yeah, you can be done with that. Can you get something else? Like dot to dot or something? Look, I did a dot to dot here. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, can you, what is your reading word that you need to? Um, dog and dog. Uh, yep, do you think you could write that down on a piece of paper? Yes, O, D, 
No. Say it again. No, it starts with a D. What does it start with? D. Yep, so then D. No, there is no G. Dog. Oh, there is. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it. D O. Yep, there you go. So sometimes we're having a little situation today where we're trying to get homework done with some of the big kids and Evelyn's kind of doing her own thing too. So we're going to give her some toys to play with and Nash and Lachlan we're going to keep busy also. So all I have here is just an empty seasoning thing and some of these cute little um, pom pom things and she can just put them right in there. Can you put them in there? Put them in and then she can put the cover on or whatever. So that's what she's gonna work on. Another thing that I put together for Nash and Lachlan last year and for Declan are, here, let me bring you guys a little closer. I'm gonna give one to Nash here and then I'm gonna give one to Lachlan. And another thing that we do at our kitchen table is everybody has assigned seats. So they have to sit in their own spot so that we don't have arguments that way. Okay, so I had this in people. Okay, so what I was saying is I made these up last year. I ended up getting a laminator. And um, so I can't remember, oh, it's, let's see. Worksheetfun.com is where I got it from. So you can go over there and print one off if you guys want to. Here are the lowercase and they have to match it to lowercase. Here's uppercase and they can match it to the uppercase. Or if you wanna make it harder for them, you take the uppercase and mix it with the lowercase. And then lowercase, they can mix it with the uppercase. So this is what Nash and Lachlan are gonna be doing. Um, sometimes with the four-year-olds, while we're being busy with the big kids, they get a little distracted and a little rowdy. So right now that's what's happening and I'm gonna have these guys work, work on this so we can keep them content. We're gonna go check on Evelyn and see how she's doing. Yellow. And you can teach them colors with this too. So yellow. Oh, you gotta take them out. You need help taking it out? Out. Ooh, we got some tiny, tiny ones in there. Here, it's coming out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can you put more in there? Oh, you know what we could do? Watch. Oh, this is even funner. Look at, can you put it in that little tiny hole? Oh. Put it in there. Push. Did it go in? No. <gasps> it went in. Okay. <laughs> can you put one in this hole? Yeah. Okay. Put it in. So Evelyn will be a chew in four, three more months. Two. Did you get it in there? There. Push. And then you can do the itty bitty ones in here. No, the only tiny ones uh -oh. go in there. Push it. Push. No, that one won't fit. The green one. Do green one. Do the green one. Push. There. No, yellow one goes over here. Oh. The yellow one on this side. Oh. So that'll give her something to do while I help the other the other kids. Uh, Nash. Nash is already losing interest. Come on. You have to sit and focus on doing that. You have to look around. Is it a W or is it... I think this one goes over there. I think that got mixed up. That's a uppercase W. Okay. So Hudson needs help. Gage needs help with his math. So I'm going to help Gage with his math, and then pretty soon it is 12 o'clock right now. We're going to do lunch, so we'll come back when we'll um, show you guys what we're going to make for lunch and go from there. So we'll see you guys in a little okay, bit. Okay, here are some of our food choices um, for today. 
Gage is making it himself tacos. Well, a lot of you guys know, especially my family knows a lot about that I don't really enjoy cooking that much. So it's really funny that my air fryer videos are doing really well right now, which we have been having a lot of fun with our air fryer videos. And you guys are gonna get a little bonus video today in our uh, kind of our daily homeschool mom routine here. Um, so we are gonna be cooking something in the air fryer. It's just something extra. It's not one of my, it's just a little bonus, I guess. Um, so Gage is gonna make his tacos. Eli's helping me with something for one of the other kids that he wants for lunch. So with being at home school, or being at home, sorry, Evelyn's down here playing with a noisy little toy, but with being at home, we're able to take that time to teach our kids how to cook. Now the other thing is, is with me not enjoying it as much, I like that I can reach out to my kids and teach them how to cook so that it kind of makes our day um, be a little easier. So me and Hudson over here, he wants corn dogs. So we're gonna cook corn dogs in the air fryer. So that's your little bonus um, air fryer video um, for today. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you how we're gonna cook them up. Okay. If you guys want kombucha, uh, my our recipe for this is on 10kidsinagarage.com, my website. Um, a friend of ours taught us how to make it and we make it every Friday. So you guys can go check that out if you want. And then here's our four corn dogs that Hudson's going to be helping us with. So why don't you take them out? Load them. But what I was saying about using freezer stuff in your air fryer, some of the frozen stuff you can just put in the air fryer and you don't need to use oil with it. But some stuff that you you do need to put oil on it. And um, But for right now, we're just going to spray the inside or the removable pan here just so that the corn dogs don't stick. So Hudson's going to put the corn dogs in. And you always want to make sure that you're not putting too many um, things in your air fryer because it's designed to be able to cook all the way around. Yep, and then put the other one in there. Okay, you have to set it 375 for five minutes on one side and then we're going to flip it and then cook it for another five minutes. And if they're not the way we want them cooked, then we need to cook them for another like one or two minutes or whatever. So that's cooking up. Gage is getting done with his tacos. He's gonna eat his tacos. I still need to make stuff for the little kids yet because they don't always eat the same as everybody else. So Eli needs to finish up what make he's doing. That's a great, oh, you're gonna make me a great picture. All right, so the kids are playing. Hey, I thought you were gonna play with cars. Come play with cars. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, Nash, come play with cars. Put them on your thing. Declan. Declan. Nash and Lachlan, do, do any of you guys want a taco? Yes, I don't. Okay. Gage's fabulous tacos. I will have tacos. You want a taco? I want Did you, you said both of you guys want a taco? I want Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. You want a taco, too? No. I oh. said I wanted crunchy noodles. Okay. He's got it right here. So, they make crunchy ramen noodles where you just boil the seasoning and water and then you just put the noodles right in crunchy and then they eat it like that so that's what Declan's eating um you guys will slowly figure out that we just eat food here we don't have a specific he made it up yeah Eli made it up but we don't have uh like we do eat fruits and vegetables and meat and potatoes and we have a wide variety we have we have 
kids that like salads, kids that don't like salads, we're not like a certain thing. We do have a situation with this child right here that can't have certain foods. So we're still figuring that out because he kind of gets sick from food. So that's what we're doing for lunch. And then we will, I'll show you what we're going to be making for supper. And like I said, I'll be doing that in the Instant Pot. So hopefully you guys like um, today's kind of style of vlogging. I want to do way more of this because um, sometimes just my air fryer videos aren't that... No, I can't say that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, what are you going to eat? Another cup? For what? Where did you, what did you use before? That one. Use the same one. Rinse it out. <sighs> Eli just stopped my video taken. No! Okay, he's gonna make his own lunch. Sometimes if I make a meal though for lunch, they have to eat what I make or supper. They have to make what, or eat what I make. But today we kind of are gonna do all different things. What does she want? Did she have them? Let her have them. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to cook for the little kids right now. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so the first five minutes are done. I'm just gonna move them around a little bit and flip them. Okay, they're all pretty crunchy. So, 370, 375, four, five minutes. Oh, five minutes, and we'll come back. Our corn dogs are done. So we cooked them just for 10 minutes. So five on each side. And they're pretty, ooh, that's hot. Huh? Can you guys, can someone give, oh, you gotta open it though for her. Okay. Oh, sorry, here I got the fan on here and you guys probably can't hear me very well. Do you want a corn dog? Mm, not really. Why not? Because I'm gonna have a salad. Okay. I got a cool one down for Evelyn, I think. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't tell her to say it, and I go, there you go, and she goes, thank you. Thank you. Is that good? I gave her a yeah. cracker, and I go, can you say thank you? And she goes, thank you. Mm. There you go. Okay. I'm going to help Miles because we're going to have a salad, so we'll come back in a little bit. We're making Miles a salad. What else do you want to put on there? Do you want more? Okay. I'm going to be putting olives on it, avocado on mine. I have a chicken salad that I'm going to be using to put on mine. And then I have just like scallions and stuff that I'm going to put on mine. Almonds. Croutons, almonds. So. And bacon bits. And bacon bits. What? Out? You need bacon bits. Gage, can you wash her up and get her out? Drink all your yogurt drink. Oops. Oops. You don't want that in there. And then he adds ranch to his. So that's going to be Miles's. Wait, no, I have yeah. And then, so that's pretty much our lunch. And then we are going to finish up some of our school. What? Uh, this is what Miles made up. You like it. Oh, that it has like a little hole in it. So you're not. I don't care. Okay. I know, I just saw him. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to finish up with Hudson right now and do his language. And then I have to help with Miles. 
and the kids are already um, playing games. So they're over there. They're done with some of the stuff that they need to be done with. So after lunch every day, they are able to play games. And then later I need to get ready and do like work stuff or um, get ready to go to work. So I'm gonna work with Hudson right here. And he just has a question with his English and I'm gonna move on to Miles. Okay, so for our roast that we make, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potatoes. So I kind of figure um, one potato per person that we have in the house. So we have 10 in the house, but I won't be here because I have to work tonight. So I'm just gonna um, throw in what I cut up. So I'm just gonna cut these up quick and then I'll show you guys how to use the Instapot. So you guys are kind of getting a little bonus extra cooking today with the Instapot and the air fryer. So I thought that would be a little fun for you guys um, to have a, another like meal plan, I guess. Um, so the nights that I work, I usually always have a bigger meal for everybody. And then um, during the week, like it depends on what we have going on, I might end up cooking something else or something small. Sometimes we end up just having cereal or pancakes or like a breakfast for supper. So we always go that route too. But tonight we're gonna do the roast. So I'm just gonna cut these up quick and then show you how to do how to do the rest. Okay. So I have them cut up real quick. Guys, if you guys want me to do Instant Pot recipes too instead of just the air fryer ones, leave it in the comments below and I'll start doing that for you guys too. So one of the things that you need to do for your air fryer is you always have to have water in here. So I have, um, mine came with like a little trivet, as they call it. And then this is so you can take your meat right out. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna put my two cups of water in. Okay, so that, that, I'm going to put the whole package of carrots in. I used a two pound bag for that. Hey Eli, can you get me a pair of scissors? Sorry, he's trying to do something and I caught him in the mix. Okay, can you just get that for me? Um, so that's two pounds of that. And then I think I had a pound, five pound bag of potatoes and there's like two or some left in there. And I'm gonna throw all my potatoes in here. Let's see if I can do this without spilling them over. Okay. Um, Miles. Miles. Um, I have the boneless pork sirloin roast from Walmart. We just get the two little ones, so I'm putting two little ones in here. You were just, I was trying to do this. Kids are all playing games, so they get a little, a little loud and rowdy. So I'm gonna put that right on top here. Um, we found that we like these rows better than um, some of the bigger ones that I've cooked before. I know all these has really good ones too. So the roast that we use is from Walmart, like I was saying, and then I sometimes can get one from all these that we really like, and I don't know the name of it right now, but we usually all do that too. Um, I have just regular seasoning, salt that I'm gonna put on top. Another thing that we've done too before is put the roast in um, the fridge and marinate it with liquid smoke and then 
some other seasonings and we're not really good at keeping up with like our seasonings we kind of like me and Gage kind of just put anything together um, we do like to use the seasoning salt we do like to use garlic salt paprika um, we've also used just you know like the regular onion soup mix we've done that before and then um, pepper and most of my kids will eat this There's, this isn't a problem but I'll be at work when this is finished so I won't I might not be able to show you guys I'm hoping that I can have maybe Gage or somebody videotape um, Gage can you videotape when this is done and just show them what it looked like or what it turns out to be. So Gage might do that for you guys tonight um, to let you guys know how it turned out. Okay, so one of the things with the air fryer, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm bringing you guys really close. In the back here, we have venting. It's just the same as like a pressure cooker. So you're gonna wanna push your vent, this little thing like I'm talking about right here, you're gonna wanna push it against the wall where it says, ceiling and then later on it'll you'll be able to vent it out so that's what the kids will probably or my husband will probably do later when the pressure cooker is finished so now I'm going to talk to you guys about the setting some settings are different on some air fryers I have the one that says pressure cook so I'm going to press pressure cook pressure cook um I don't want it to Sometimes the keep warm button will come on and I don't want that. So I want to pressure cook on high and then I'm going to push the um, plus to go to two hours. So if I were to use the, like put this in a slow cooker, it would be all day. So I'd put it in at eight o'clock in the morning and then it wouldn't get done until supper time. Um, and now you're watching here. So with this, I can cook it for about two and a half, sometimes two hours and it's finished. That's just what I came across, what works for us. I don't know if other Instapots are different or cooked differently. Um, so this is gonna turn on. There you go. So now it's on and then it'll just cook down in time and then it'll be finished in that amount of time. Um, I've had to stop it in the middle just to see if, oh, sorry, I'm like shaking you guys here. Um, I've had to stop it in the middle just to see where it was at when I was just kind of experimenting, but I found like two hours or so works good with our roast, depending on what size you get also. So just try that out, but that's pretty much it. And then everything will be finished for supper and they can eat that with like buttered bread or maybe a can of fruit or something like that. We just kind of throw yeah. something extra with that. What? Are you going to talk game talk? Can I go in the middle? Yes. But you got to plug it in somewhere. Plug it in on the side down there. Okay. So that's that. That's for supper. That's pretty much our day because I'll be leaving in the next like two hours to go to work. So I got to get ready and do that. I got some things that I need to do before I get ready for work. I have Evelyn down for a nap. So that's pretty much our days besides tomorrow is um, Tuesday and we have some doctor's appointments and stuff that we have to go to, which I'll tell you guys maybe about sometime this week or next week of Miles. I was saying earlier in the video of what we're trying to figure out with Miles. I'll find out hopefully tomorrow what we're going to do next. And then what else can I talk to you guys about? Um... Declan, we're going in tomorrow to get his eyes checked. With us homeschooling, uh, we're, they're not in school to get like exams if they have that in, in school. So we just kind of have to keep up with that on our own. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And then school tomorrow. And then tomorrow night is uh, Gage and Eli start up with Rockets again. So we'll be doing that. And then Wednesday night they have Youth group Thursday, we have, I think, possibly another appointment for Evelyn because she's got some stuff going on with one of her fingers. So we have that going on and Friday is pretty much our open day. We still are able to get our schooling in. So I'm not worried about any of that. It's just when we have extra appointments and stuff, we have to try to like still get, 
you know our stuff done though so if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up because i that lets me know if you guys enjoy more vlog style i hope you guys like the doubled up uh meal planning that we did today with our air fryer and the corn dogs don't forget to come back on friday because i'm gonna have the appetizer um one in the air fryer i'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet and we'll try that out on friday so that'll be exciting and let me know if you want more instapot or i can do instapot meals with my vlogging style videos i can do that not maybe not separate videos with the instapot because we're doing pretty good with the air fryer one but we'll do um oops i turned <laughs> Whoops, I turned that on. So, oh no. So yeah, I like that. It took, or I can just go like that. Oh, another thing about the air fryer, just because I ran into the situation right now, you never have to worry about it running when the basket's out, it always shuts. So if you have a child that's kind of like wanting to open it, it'll always shut off, so don't worry about that. It'll still be warm on the inside, but it won't be on while it's open. So just a quick note on that. But I'm trying to think. I think that's all I want to talk to you guys about today. I know this is going to be probably a longer video than I want to do on a regular vlogging days. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get restarted with the year. Some of our goals that I wanted to share with you guys that we wanted to accomplish with homeschool now that we're up and back at it again. Um, so that's going to continue to go on on our daily that until you know we're done with the year or whatever but if you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe and then hit that notification bell also because that will notify you when we uh, upload more videos i'm trying to try to if i can wednesdays and fridays that it would be like my ideal goal i do have some like review videos that i do in between i don't know i just kind of got to get a schedule for you guys and see what works best on when i can get videos out but we'll figure that out i don't know so other than that guys i'll see you in the next one it's nice and brown and squishy on the inside.